Good morning, ladies and gents. I am here at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida because it is June 14, which means we have the grand opening or premiere of Cinesational, which is a show slash projection slash drone. It's crazy. We're going to go see it for the first time today. And then we also have Hogwarts Always, which is a brand new show happening in Hogwarts Castle. But today, I'm also hanging out with one of the coolest guys in all of Harry Potter, uh, the Pottergram. He has arguably the biggest collection of Harry Potter books I have ever seen. Should be in the Guinness World Record. Here he is, Peter! Hey, y'all. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we are making it happen today, since he is my lovely guest here. <laughs> he is in charge of everything we're doing today in the Wizarding World. So, Peter. What would you like to do today? Hmm. Well, let's start in... Yeah, we can literally Diagon start... Diagon Alley. There you go. Perfect okay. part. It's expected to rain today. Diagon Alley. I got Alley. my umbrella, though. Yes. Cheers. Me too. Yeah. I got my umbrella. Okay, so, would you like to teleport there? I mean, we're wizards. <laughs> okay, so, question. Do you want to jump into London, or do you want to start jumping straight into Diagon Alley and just cross through? Let's jump into London. Ooh, I like that. Behind the night bus? Behind the night bus. Behind the night bus. All right. All right. Three, two, one. No! Oh. oh my God, we made it. Are you okay, Peter? I'm okay. Okay. No splinching. No splinching. No splinching. All fingers and toes. Yes. Ten. I, think. Ten. I mean, they're in shoes, so maybe they're. I guess we'll find out later. We'll find out later. If it hurts, <laughs> let me know. Okay. We'll go to the freaking we'll first aid. Red starts to like you know flow through my shoes. I actually saw. Funny enough, you're talking about feet right now because I saw you uh, do a little exclusive <laughs> feet video, Mr. Peter. You'll like, see, yeah, you'll see that in the video I'm gonna post, I think tomorrow, so. You guys have to see it. He tried to say that his foot was the same size as Shrek's. <laughs> no, what, no, 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 for no, what no I did okay. not try to say it was as big as Shrek's. I knew it was his was bigger. <laughs> so, so what was that whole thing about? So no one was noticing, all right, so in DreamWorks land, mm -hmm. If you're in Shrek Swamp, look on the ground because you'll see footprints. You'll see Shrek's footprints, his three kids' footprints, Fiona's oh, footprints. See, I haven't gone, so. Oh, you haven't? Okay. So look on the ground. One of these. There's so much there. So I'm like, well, let's just take my shoe off and <laughs> see how big his foot is. Oh my God. Um, I need to go see that uh, today, sometime yeah, around yeah. today. But we are here in the huge one out of two night buses used in the film. One is in Leavesden, this would be the other. Now, I did have this one time here, and the reason why I found it funny that we're here. One time, I guess the team members or someone forgot to lock that crate. Yeah, that and, I'm, and I'm so jealous. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it's open. Typically, I've been doing this trend where I push multiple times just because it says push once for, you know, laughs and all of that. But today, October 1st, 2022, you can see it is open. We could finally step our feet inside the night bus. It's awesome. Unfortunately, even if you push the, the red button, nothing's gonna happen. I did this thing where I kept pressing the button and for whatever reason, people thought pressing the red button was gonna no, somehow. I, I know I know your, your little tricks and <laughs> I'm excited to be here to press the red button. <laughs> <laughs> Let oh. me in. <laughs> Locked. Unfortunately. I don't have my wand. Peter didn't bring his wand, so unfortunately, we cannot magically... Uh, Alohomora. No Alohomora today. But, um, let's see if the shrunken head guy is here, yeah, or yeah. maybe we could... What do you want to do, Peter? Because... That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> we can end the video right here. I just wanted to Thank press you guys the red for... button with Johnny. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, so what do you want to do? It's your day. It's your oh, day, man. Pete. It's day. Come on. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a lot that I get to see you. So it's it's the least I could do to show this appreciation of the Potter Collector mm. to give him the day that he would like. I feel like a dad right now. <laughs> you're, you're practicing. I'm practicing for my future son. <laughs> Let's go up to the shrunken head if he's out. Let's see if he's yeah. out. You? Oh, he's in the flying club. Yes. <laughs> for which club? At Hogwarts. Oh, excellent. I didn't yeah. know they had a club there. Yeah, they got a club. you got to join. Oh, my days. I'm not okay. very good at flying well, myself. Yeah, that's what that's, that's the club sport. <laughs> sure. yeah. I mean, you've been trying to help me play better at Quidditch. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I can't play myself because I don't have the body for it. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. But he's good at strategizing. Okay. That, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be a, you'd be a coach. Can it's we? Head coach. Head coach. Head coach. Oh, there it is. Bump. That's it. Yeah. Can we take a, a headshot? A headshot. Okay. He's got to be fine. He's got to be fine. Yeah, of course, you can stop. Thank you so much. Really proud, but... All right. Ah. Well. Uh, <laughs> Thank awesome. you so much. So what? Where, where, where should we go next? Have you been to Dorigon? Uh, we haven't been in there yet. Oh, well, there you go, mate. Right through right there, brick wall. Go to the right. Go to the hopping pot. Get yourself a nice frozen butter bin. Bring it back here. Two straws. Thank okay. You. All right. Two straws. Thank you. Right. Have a good one. I guess Pete, um, the shrunken head. Yeah. I guess we're going in. I guess we're going in. Well done, dragon. <laughs> Alright Peter, we are inside Diagon Alley. Where would you like to go as far as stores? There are so many really cool stores in here. So which one is your favorite? My favorite... It's, I think it's a toss-up between Quality Queer Supplies mm. or Magical Menagerie. Ooh, okay. So I guess it's a this or that. I guess I gave myself a this or that. Um, let's do... <laughs> I love this. <laughs> yeah, well, there it is, right here. Oh, and also, did you know that we're both Slytherins? Two Slytherins. Two Slytherins. Walking into the quality college supplies, we might end up taking a couple of stuff. <laughs> Five finger discount? <laughs> <laughs> so, Peter, why is this your favorite? Um, I'm a Slytherin seeker, mm. so I love Quidditch. Um, oh, this is cool. I don't, I don't know if y'all know about this fun little fact here. This whole outfit, you can see within the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So in the Forbidden Journey queue in the Gryffindor common room, look at one of the portraits and you'll see a Quidditch player wearing this exact costume. That's something I actually did not know about. So thank you so much for not only showing them, but also oh, showing me. I had no idea. You, well, you're telling me like facts that I don't know too. So there we go. Yeah. There we go. I also like that these are actually from the actual creators of the same movie. Um, so for example, Lockhaven. Yeah, Lockhaven. These are, these are made by the same company that made the sweaters for the films. So they're real, real wool. From, from Scotland. 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 They're also not the best thing to wear in Florida. Definitely, <laughs> Just not, be, definitely not right now because it is so hot and you might pass out. And by might, I mean most likely. You most likely will pass Yeah, out. this is thick wool. We're gonna rip it, boss. Oh, no, right here. Oh, all the way in the back. Yeah, and they're going for 109 95. Wow. Mm. This this new team captain bag. Yeah. Team <laughs> captain, Slytherin Seeker, all the things. All the things. For 70. And these bags here, you can get them personalized with your name embroidered on them as well. Very wow. Cool. So, that'd be very, very awesome. So not only are you a team captain, you get that embroidered, you guys should go to the gym, Pete. That's awesome. That'd be very cool. Everyone be like, that you can get it personalized. Guy. Yeah, that'd be so Take cool. it to the gym. They're like, whoa, Team Captain P? Captain, wow. <laughs> Team Captain Potter Collector. <laughs> yeah, you can put the Potter. Oh, <laughs> the Potter Collector. Or P. Kenneth. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so many options. Damn. Yeah, this is like a whole gym setup, too, because they have the the shirts are very yeah. soft. The yeah, shorts. shorts. Oh, you could. <laughs> You would actually look like you're part of the Quidditch team. <laughs> All right, we are back outside in Diagon Alley. Now, what's your favorite butterbeer? Because there are so much types of butterbeer. So we got frozen, we got cold, we got hot. Potted cream. Cold, or regular, right? Yep, regular. Um, so we live in Florida, understand? We live in Florida, Peter. We don't live in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chicago can get hotter than Florida in the summer. Okay. Did you know that? I did not know that. Now you know. But we never snow here. That is true. <laughs> that guys, is true. You guys do us though on something that we can never hear. Um, so, going back to the question, cold or frozen for you? Cold. Yeah, I like the classic, just beverage. Okay, second question. Okay. Cold or hot? Cold. Cold is your favorite. Cold is my favorite. Let's go get some cold yeah. butterbeer. Ooh, side note. Have you tried the lolly? Yes. Is it good? 
Okay. So the shell mm -hmm. is amazing. Mm -hmm. The inside has a good flavor, mm -hmm. but it's a little too icy. I wish it was more like an ice cream ice. bar, mm -hmm. like a nice creamy butterbeer ice cream mm -hmm. with that shell would have been absolutely incredible. But because I mean, but it's called kind of a lolly, like a popsicle, so I mm -hmm. guess it should be a little icy. But that was the one thing I didn't love about it. But I mm. say that on a really hot day, it is very refreshing too. So it's like I could kind of go either way with it. Mm. Um, but the shell itself, thick, delicious, butterbeer, butterscotch, vanilla flavored delight. It's a lot of, it sounds like a lot of sugar. <laughs> 300 calories. Jeez, I didn't know that one. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not a big fan of the cold butterbeer, but I'll try it for Peter. Not to say I've never tried it, but it's just not my favorite. Especially in Florida, I like to have that frozen. Here we go. Here you go, Pete. She is mate. She is mate. Cold butterbeer. You're missing something. You're missing something very important. It's like Luigi and Mario. Oh my god. You don't like it? No, it's good. It's good. Oh, good. Yeah, no one can hate butterbeer. If you don't like butterbeer, I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't trust you. But yeah, it's cold butterbeer. I like frozen. Being from Florida, I need to have some form of cold beverage. This is a cold beverage. Frozen though? Less. I feel like frozen is less sugary just because it has ice. I feel and I can like it. Yeah, I think that frozen is a little sweeter. Because guys, the carbonation. So I'm wondering if the carbonation kind of like mm. breaks through that sweetness a little bit. I don't know science. I don't but know. Yeah. comment down below what do you guys think? Yeah. Cold or frozen? I want to see Frozen Squad go crazy on the comments. <laughs> I'm sure he wants the guys go cold. crazy. All for cold. Let me know down below because this is going to be a fight we'll never win. <laughs> Of which butterbeer is the ultimate butterbeer? All right, Peter. So, what is your favorite photo op section? Oh. Like, there's so many amazing photo spots throughout all of Diagon Alley. Um, what would be your favorite? Would it be in front of Green God's Dragon, flame sticking out the back? You have the Night Bus. You have the Wheezy's Wizard Wheezes. There's so many options, Peter. Okay, so. This one's kind of unconventional. Mm. I actually literally just did it. Oh. But I'll, I'll come up with something else in, for the sake of like the video and stuff mm -hmm. and not include this, but one of my favorite photo ops is to get yourself a butterbeer and give yourself a mustache oh, and yeah. take it in front of the hopping pot or somewhere else, the butterbeer cart or something. I love that. But in Diagon Alley, it's Green Guts Bank. I mean, I, it's that's not a cop out. It literally is my favorite photo op. Now, is it inside? You want a picture inside or outside? Outside. Outside with a dragon. Outside. Yeah, one hundred percent. Couldn't agree more. All right, Pete. So we have all of Vanders right behind us, and I know you have a crazy collection of wands. So, what's your favorite Dumbledore wand? Because there's the Elder one that he holds, because he is all powerful. <laughs> And then he has the one that you see in Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. Let's go inside, I'll show you which one's my favorite. I know you're a guy of power. Yeah, I had a The Elder Wand. I had an idea. Of course. I just, I just wanted to see which one it was. <laughs> Always the Elder power. Wand. What is, how does Voldemort do it? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> This should go as no surprise. Whenever that dragon is shooting fire, leave it to Peter to always yell, "Well done, dragon!" Of course, it's a must. Of course. So you got that. What? How did that originate? Because I I know what scene that was. Yeah. In. Well, just pulled it from that scene, and then the dragon blew fire and yelled, "Well done, dragon!" And then didn't look back. <laughs> and that's what's just fun. That it's like catching on and yes. catch people yelling it out in Diagon Alley. It's, it's Blast. We were just, well, we're still in Diagon Alley, but you heard people yell the same thing that Peter was yelling right behind them, not knowing Peter was standing right in front of them. So that's how cool it is to be a part of the Pottergram community and the Potter Collector community as well. Which is your favorite interactive wand location for water-based? So there's oh, this water one. Yes, yeah, so there's this one, and then there's uh, the one by the hopping pot. Which one would you pick? 100% the hopping pot. Oh! 
<laughs> so we're in front of your favorite wand spot. Why is it your favorite? So it's fun because well, one you're you're conjuring water, mm -hmm. aguamenti, of course. But randomly, a burst of water will come out from the top and hit unsuspecting people on the head if they're in the wrong spot. Sometimes they're in the right spot, depending right on spot, yeah. depending on where you put them. There you go. <laughs> See how exciting it is for little kids to have wands here and actually perform magic. The excite Grown-ups too. <laughs> don't, don't. I'm, I'm gonna be the first one to tell you when I come in with my interactive wand in here, I'm freaking out just as much as the little kids running around. So fun. <laughs> now I'm normally not a big fan of whenever it rains in Diagon Alley, but it makes for amazing pictures and amazing videos. It warmed me up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, Peter, this is coming to an end. Oh, it's coming to an end? I thought oh. it would be the perfect time to finish the video. This is a perfect place to finish. I've never finished a video here, so I feel like this is pretty nice. awesome. Okay. The fact that we're inside Green Gods. Yeah. Where can we find you? Because I know they know where you come from, but I would like to... I am on YouTube, Instagram, at The Potter Collector on Twitter, at Potter Collector, because the Potter Collector was too long. Twitter is now X. Yeah. But you can find him there. Again, huge honor to have him here in the video. And of course, finishing off in Green Gods. Now we are going to enter our vault and uh, probably someone else's vault. Um, so with that being said, I love you guys. See you guys on the next one. Bye.